Crowds came from far and wide to come and see the most beauteous attraction in the world, a giant flower that smells like corpses. Uh, so this happened recently in Cambridge University Botanic Garden. Uh, the Titan Aurum, Aurum? flower uh, finally <laughs> bloomed after 11 years. The bloom lasts just two days and emits a certain odor to attract pollinators. Those pollinators are uh, bugs that generally like corpses, so it smells just terrible. It's been described as smelling like rotten eggs, quote, dead donkey, dirty laundry, smelly feet, dead stuff. Basically, it smells real bad. And it's actually pretty big. Uh, though this one is one of the smaller ones, it's called the Tiny Titan. The pungent plant emits the foul odor at night by heating itself up to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 40 degrees Celsius for my friends who are not American. Um, <laughs> And uh, people, doctors have been uh, monitoring the thermal imaging to look at the temperature of the plant. And the reason why this happens is that it helps distribute sulfurous compounds, which makes it that the horrible smell. That's just a fancy way of saying the horrible smell uh, across vast distances mm -hmm. in its native Sumatra to lure its pollinators. Again, uh, carrion beetles, blow flies, flies, bugs that are generally attracted to uh, rot. Uh, carrion. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love how specific it is. Dead donkeys. It's like not dead dog, not a dead, not horse, dead cow, not dead but a mule. dead donkey has its own stench. I've actually and this never is, smelled that. This is what that. it smells like. And I've never hoped I do. Yeah, but uh, it's also a very drastic difference. Like dirty laundry, dead donkey. I mean, I think I'd much rather smell dirty laundry than a dead donkey, to be honest. For so, sure. Uh, I, I think it's uh, it's it's two two opposite sides. I feel like. So you, uh, Cambridge University put a webcam on oh, the yeah. Titan Arum, and it broke. And it broke so many because it was waiting. so popular. Yeah. People freaked out so they can watch this thing bloom. It started showing <laughs> signs that it was going to bloom on July sixth. And the, this is a, an event 11 years in the making, everyone. We don't get to smell that horrible odor every day unless we <laughs> live in the dump. Uh, but, <laughs> so the last time this happened was in 2004. Wow. Uh, with 10,000 people turning up to see it, another 250,000 enjoyed it uh, by watching online. Of course, you, well, it's over now, but you could watch it online and you could probably watch uh, uh, recordings of it opening, mm -hmm. people fainting from the stench. Well, people fainted? No, I, oh, I'm, I thought... I'm just putting that out there. If I were there, I would do that, but I'm a dramatic person. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I understand that this is like a super historic event, and, you know, mm -hmm. I enjoy science, but I don't know if I would wait in line just to smell a flower well, that smells like butthole. I mean, but it's it, like... This butthole this is flower not... is so rare, though. We would <laughs> never butthole. get to see the butthole flower. You never see the butthole bloom ever again? Once or <laughs> twice in our lifetimes. Yeah. I mean. But I don't know if I would want to wait in line to see that. I like, think it's interesting to think about. Yeah. Uh, it certainly has its audience. Mm -hmm. Maybe audience. not for me either. Chlor because chlorophilists. <laughs> people who are. Florophiles. I think they're, I think they're called. Oh yeah, maybe. I made that up. I made that up. I know I chlorophilia know. is real. But this thing is pretty popular, the Tiny Titan. If you want to learn more about it, they're, uh, they're tweeting about it with hashtag Tiny Titan, oh, different okay. names that it's been getting, different descriptors for the stink, which I guess stink. is the main attraction. It works on bot flies, carrion beetles, and us, because we have morbid <laughs> curiosity. Sure do. Audience, would you travel to smell and look at this carrion flower? I wouldn't. Yes, probably wouldn't. Would but not. would you let us know below in the comments and please be sure to subscribe for more stinky flower news. No, there will not be any more stinky flower news. <laughs>